All right, welcome back to Foundation. So when we last left off, uh, I built this warehouse to uh, help with our bread production. Um, it did help enough that I was able to open up another trade route. We do have 20 bread um, stocked. This warehouse has zero, but it is accepting it. Um, we do have two people assigned. Both of these people, so let's look up Jane because Jane is easy, um, are considered transporters. So I have four transporters all together. And, <clears throat> excuse me, all of them are assigned to warehouses. Um, so a little later here, I'm going to try to do a transporter independent of a warehouse and see if they deliver. So if we look at our bread vendors, um, we have zero in stock, seven sold this week at this bread vendor, and I have another one down here. Uh, we have zero in stock, five sold this week. So there's still not a lot of bread getting made. Um, I am going to let it run through a while while I do something else to see if uh, the numbers pick up. What I wanted to do this time is I wanted to play around with the good old fences, because I haven't used fences, to try to keep people out of the wheat field. They have put roads through the wheat field. Well, the farmers have. So have the stone cutters. And see if I can redirect the traffic. Um, I don't even know if that works or not. But, uh, right, space does not work. So let's go 1x. And let's don't put up a wall. Let's put up a, isn't fence in here? Yeah, a fence. And uh, let's see what I can do with this. Um, uh, control, uh oh, I already forgot. No, it's control and not wheel, but like this. All right, uh, I didn't like that too much. So I know farmer that this is the road and you're walking through your own wheat field, but um, now, I want to show, always to show territorial boundaries, always show development areas. Okay, so I want to put a fence pretty much right along the field. So I will let the farmer walk through his own field. Kaboom. Kaboom. Yep. Uh, auto save. Let's move down here a little bit. I don't want to get too particular with this. Nevertheless, you walk right through the fence. Ah, uh, well that kind of stinks. I don't know that this is going to work. I thought sure this was going to work. And let's do something like this. I guess there's no way out for you guys. So you're going to walk right through that fence. Interesting. Well, I'm going to put it up anyway. Who the heck is it going to keep out if it's not going to keep the walkers out? this. I know this is super exciting stuff. Um, I'm already regretting doing this. Because I don't think it's going to do anything. They seem to be walking right through it. So you know what? I'm not going to fence in this side. I only want to redirect. Um, so let's redirect around the, the berry hut. Um, so we'll do something like this. Where the farmer says, get off my damn land. And, uh, fenced it off. Well, no. No, because people want to walk. Uh, so we're going to try to redirect them around. Because this is fertile land. Okay? And, yep, you're going to walk right through it, aren't you? We'll give it up. Like so. And so. Yeah, you're walking right through it. As if there was a gate. Well, maybe next version then, right? Uh, that's good. I'm not going to do any more. Yeah, you're just walking right through it. So much for that. Alright, so what else do we want to do? Um, we were going to set up the clothes market. Um, yeah, and we're building this. This is the weaver hut. We're waiting for a builder. Well, what's wrong with the builders? Female, you're a builder. And Otto, you're a builder. 
And of course, Henry suddenly is going to build. All right, let's put this as... Uh, this is already high priority. I'm not sure why a builder wasn't building it. Um, so we need a... Um, this is a weaver's hut, right? Weaver hut. And then we already have a sheep farm. And then we'll need a clothes market. And we might as well put the clothes market here. Uh, let me turn off the uh, display regions. Because uh, I'm already breaking my own rules. So where's the front of the clothes market? This is the front, correct? Yeah. So we'll put the clothes market uh, right up in here. This is a good spot for it. We've got another warehouse down there just for the sheep. I forgot about that. Alright, so this is the... Closed market's gonna go there. What is this warehouse taking? This warehouse is refusing everything. Boy, did I forget that I built that. So I want this to accept wool. And what else can it accept? Clothing? Yeah, accept clothing. Right. And that's it. Uh, it could also accept stone just because this quarry is so near. Why don't we go ahead and accept stone? Okay. And now we have two workers assigned to that. Which means we have two transporters. I'm not even going to look. You guys are all walking through the fences. Are you? You, you? you put your wheat on the other side of the fence, which is fine. Um, ooh. We did get some redirection. Look at that. So it did work after a while. They repathed themselves. So what are you guys doing? You guys are just cutting across. I want you to go through here. Huh. Huh. Alright, I am going to put more fence down then, damn it. Because it works. Eventually, well, auto save. It takes a little bit, but it finally kicks in and people redirect their routes, which makes sense. They're jumping the fence uh, at first. And, uh, yeah, the farmer, two villagers are being added. That's terrific. And I'll put it right up against the farmer's house. And that should stop them eventually, I think. So now, instead of this road being used, everybody should come around here and go through here. And this is the only path you can walk through. I like it. I don't think it helps. I don't think it helps as far as points or gameplay or anything, but uh, certainly uh, for visual looks, it helps. Uh, right, so how are we doing? We have eight bread, so the bread, uh, it's not really working. We have a builder that's just doing what? Looking to fill my needs. Well, why don't you go do that? You need clothes. Well, you know, if you would finish the building, you'd have some clothes. Um, hey, we got somebody cutting. Oh, you're building the... So we're going to build the clothes warehouse before... Or the clothes shop before we build the weaver. William is bringing two logs. Two logs at a time. Alright. So how is this thing going? Uh, produce wood log. Where are we storing the logs? Let's kind of have this be a neutral. Let's accept some logs here as well. We'll kind of have this be a neutral warehouse. This is a very specific warehouse. Which is honestly not that far away from this other warehouse. So I don't know. I don't know if that helps at all or not. Maybe if the warehouse was down here, it would help a little bit. Um, we're producing a decent amount of bread. Maybe another bakery? Uh, all right, so now... I So I wonder if these paths will ever fade after, after non-use. That'll be interesting to see. But they are definitely... I have successfully redirected them. Actually... Um, it looks like this is the main road now, and they've, they're not even bothering to walk through here, because I guess it's planted. 
So I feel like I should move the fence. Fence details. Oh, I can bulldoze it. Okay. So then let's let's do that then. Let's let's put let's put another fence in here. All right. We're reclaiming our land. I really should have put the fence the other way. I'll correct it now, but it's not worth starting all over again. Yeah. There we go. And another fence here. And another fence here. And another one here. And then let's close it off like this. So they, they can walk, like squeeze through here. Um, and then we'll close it off like this. Right, and then this fence we can bulldoze. This fence we can bulldoze, I think. Yeah, I think I got it. This fence bulldoze. This fence bulldoze. 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 Alright. Yep. Now. Oh, houses. Can I, uh, where am I? I'm in a warehouse. Uh, yeah. Now you have to walk around. Excellent. And you guys have to walk around. All right, I I did make it a little difficult here for you guys. Um, let me bulldoze this, so you can walk around. Uh, that's good. Okay. So is the is the Weaver Hut built yet? For crying out loud, what are we waiting for now? It only takes twenty logs, and Otto's bringing two at a time. Inefficient. These guys all populated. How are we doing berries? 71 berries. How are we doing happiness? Uh, minus 6 could not build a house. Minus 7 could not find bread. All right. Housing. Yes. Housing. Definitely a housing issue. What was I going to do here? Let's look at our regions. Uh, yes. I have this be a extraction region. Let me eliminate this extraction region. All right. Actually, let's just put it down here. So this is an extraction region here. And let's move it up to here. And right behind here. And over to here. And then let's expand the, um, not reforestation, residential. You're still red over there, okay? But um, I don't know. I'm thinking we're going to go ahead and we're going to allow it down there. And then I could buy some more land. I could. I could buy some land. Uh, let's see. Territory. Let's buy this land. And let's buy this land because I'm feeling spendy. And now if we go to residential. Yeah, this is, this is, uh, this is high value as well. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let you go everywhere. We're gonna go here for now. And yeah, whoops, don't right click. You gotta turn it off. Okay. So people ought to be able to build houses now. And uh, I really need to expand this. So they did change with the expansion because it had the draw bug. Um, when you edit this thing, um, you can no longer grow. You have to replace. And uh, that looks mighty fine, doesn't it? Um, so let's, we're not going to do that one. Let's expand our Lord Manor, all right? And uh, let's edit it. Let's edit this one. Um, so you have attachment points, and then you have, you can't grow these anymore. So let's clear, let's remove this. Oh, dear. That's pretty radical. Uh, and the bell tolls. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, let's do a... What do we got? Lord House Core. is still going to go on top of the hill here. All right. Right there. And it's going to be pretty tall. It's going to be a big house. 
And uh, do I have materials? I don't have materials. That's too bad. Um, and then extension A is going to go right here. It's going to connect. How, do, how, do we, how does it connect? Uh, blue to blue. There it goes. And I, I don't really want... I don't really want the ability to twist it around. Does that look straight? Yeah, I kind of just want it to lock on. Good. And yes, this will be tall as well. And, uh, chimney. Um, where's the connection point? Oh, just goes on top. Perfect. And that's not what I expected, but that's fine. Uh, decorative bush, a fountain, uh, treasury. And we're going to have a couple of treasuries. First treasury is going to go in the front. Oops. Like so. Big time. Then the second treasury is going to go over here. And then the third treasury is going to go over here. Actually, we can we could really put it on anything, but um, how about a little taller? Yeah. Try treasury. And we need a door. It's complaining about not having a door. And I don't think I can... Uh, okay, so now it has a door. Total cost 304. Uh, 59 wood, 50 something something or other. Uh, 50 tools. So we're going to need a lot of tools. Monument effects on a state. Add 3,000 gold to village treasury capacity. That should be good. Uh, villager capacity, 7. Building park count, 7. And then we could potentially add on to that. So I'd really like to put in some windows. Well, Lord Banner, come on. Um, there's the door. Here's the banner. And, uh, what decorative tree? Of course. Decorative tree on the side. Perfect. And a fountain? Uh, yeah, you know. So, yeah, it swivels around. Okay, how did that fountain go? It does kind of snap in there, so that's good. So there's the fountain. And a fence. Um... This is a special fence. So let's just say the, um, oh, I gotta do them one at a time. All right, so we'll just do, we'll just kind of keep them, direct them to the front of the house there. And uh, we'll do another one. So we're gonna, hopefully, it'll make the trail through here. I'm not going to I'm not going to put up every single fence. But uh, this kind of gives them the idea. Yep. There we go. Okay. And I uh, yeah, I wish I could put window like in the church you can do windows and everything. A decorative bush. I don't know, man. I'll put a decorative bush right here. There we go. And, uh, Lord Banner, Chimney, Door, Treasury, Extension A. Yep, that's all the parts. Okay, start construction. Kaboom! And Walter William Hans Female Henry. That's what we're talking about. And we need tools. And, uh, we have got, uh, one tool left. And, uh, boy, that fountain in the chimney went in fast, didn't they? Right. Church is looking good. I don't want to rebuild the church. Yet. Alright, so, uh, this field has been harvested. Um, these paths are staying, but, um, I don't believe, so it looks like you're going to go out and harvest. You're going to go through the house. That's fine by me, it's your house. I think, that's the farmer guy, isn't it? Uh, farmer, yep. Yes, you may walk through your own house. Um, oh good. This is up. Steven, you are the... No. 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 
Oh. <laughs> I reassigned one too many times. Um, alright, how about now? Unassigned female, I can't. I broke it. Um, Steven, you have no job. Uh, how about you be the, uh, weaver's hut? You're, you're kind of there already? There we go. Female 433. There, you're gone. I broke it. Alright, well... Anyway, you're making clothes. Um... We have 102 wool, that's the easy part. Clothes is the hard part. And we... Oh, 78, what's the problem? Could not find bread. Uh, minus 6, could not build a house recently. Minus 5, has lacked berries recently. Alright. Um, and we have a lot of people that are unemployed. Did I, I totally broke this. Let's actually... You're a builder now, okay? And, um... Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Hopefully that'll reset. And... How about the bread? That's the market for berries. This is the bread. Uh, Alright, let's build another bakery, even though it'll take an hour and a half. So, build bakery. Mm, bakery. And, uh, again... I'm gonna put this the other way this time. It's the bakery district. I'll have to remember to assign villagers to that. So we have a lot of people with no job. They're gonna become builders. Uh, no job. Builder. How's this doing? Uh, follow villager. You're in there, that's the problem. I am producing resources. Okay, good. Um, so we'll go ahead and assign you to the weaver and that should be fine. Two new villagers. Uh, and our happiness is dropping fast. Cannot find bread. Building complete house. We need that to go back up. Uh, builder. And Philippe, builder. And let's make another berry hut. So berries are an unlimited resource. Did we have any more berries on the map? We kind of did over here. I'm not sure how much that would help. Um, I could put another berry hut here. Let's do that. A gathering camp. Right in front of this house. There we go. And let's... I prioritize this, get this menu out of the way, and let's high prioritize Theodric, my favorite builder. Meantime, um, we have a chimney suspended in midair, and uh, things are being worked on. The shrubbery's in, the banner's in, the fountain's in. Oh, the fountain is kind of crooked. Eh, maybe not. And look, we do have a we do have a path forming to the door. We also have this path forming to for the workers. Uh, I'll leave that for now. There we go. All right, we're getting there. Um, what else can we do? So we've shown that you can redirect people with fences, even though it's it's good to put them in. See, now why is this road forming? Who's this? That's the farmer? I'm really not going to tell the farmers where to walk. So they're kind of doing this thing. Why are you going up there? I guess that, that's now the new route into your house. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. And uh, we did get the stone cutters to stop using this path, which, which may be slowly fading. I'm not sure. We'll have to we'll have to watch it over time. And uh, so there's a single path through the fields. And you, okay, you're now bolded, so you're producing uh, clothes. So let's set up a trade route. Um, 
trading resources. We want to be selling. Uh, let's sell five shirts. Whatever that means. What else? Oh, I just closed the menu I want to look at. Uh, Northberry is buying wool and cloth. Uh, for 10. Wool for 5, cloth for 10. We have 94 wool, so let's... I did it again. Let's trade wool as well. Let's sell 5 wool as well, just to make some extra money. But we have got to... Um, 5 sold this week for 50. Good. Um, how's that extra berry hut going? Not. This is not. Um, and then as far as new housing goes, um, people are building their houses on the hill. Alright, fine. Uh, that's steep, but you know, they do it around here, build them on the steep hillsides. You'll be sorry if we get heavy rain. Uh, and this is going up slowly but surely. Uh, yeah, alright, so there you have it. It's been about 26 minutes. Um, so we made a little more progress. And uh, there's still some things to do, in my opinion. Um, uh, we'll see if the extra bakery um, fixes our bread situation. Our happiness is now up to 80. Minus 5 build a house, minus 9 bread, minus 5 berries. And uh, the global happiness is ever so slowly ticking up for the most part. Yes, ever so slowly ticking up. Um, so anyway, and I recommend please add space to pause. I'll have to maybe suggest that to the developer. Um, but uh, yeah, again, this is uh, alpha. So, you know, things will be missing. Things won't work. It's perfectly normal. Um, so... I do hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.